Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Monday, and it is a beautiful Monday. We are up and around and enjoying life, and that is what it's all about. Whether you're working, playing, having fun is what you should be doing. And life is to be lived. And one of the things I'm finding out is, you know, there's more hot rodding than just driving a cool car. You go places. Well, a lot of people nowadays, because of the pandemic, are not staying in hotels. They don't want to. They're fearful of the possible germs that might be at a hotel. So what are they doing? Well, they're buying a lot of motorhomes. They're buying a lot of travel trailers. They're going places in their cars, and sometimes it's not overnight. But when it is, some of the people are doing it in style, and I'm going to be one of them. I'm building a can ham trailer. Well, I'm not really building. We're just restoring or refurbishing a canned ham trailer. What's a canned ham trailer, you say? Well, they're the old rounded style trailers made out of aluminum that look like a can of ham. And they are becoming very, very popular. Now, we've had ours for three years, and I've been negligent on as far as doing the work I need to do. But I have done some of it. Now, I'm in the process of stripping the paint off so we can get a good coat of paint on it. We've got some windows that need to be repaired. We've got a little bit of woodwork that needs to be done. But it's intact. It's pretty darn solid. Got to replace the mattress, reupholster the uh, front couch area. But we're going to get on it and we're going to get it done. The goal is next summer, we're going to be out cruising, towing our canned ham trailer behind our 56 Chevy wagon. Now, ours is a 1955. It's called the Pleasure Craft. Now, this was a company that uh, was based out of El Monte, California, or Glen, in, in somewhere in that area. Let's see if I can find them here. But uh, I was looking up some stuff today, and I did come across the canned ham trailers, uh, especially the little ones like I've got, the Pleasure Crafts. But, hey, they're cool, and they're fun, and a lot of people are restoring them. They're towing them behind vintage vehicles as well. So not only do you have a vintage trailer, you've got a vintage car towing it. And one thing we've noticed after speaking to a number of people at some of these canned ham events, they are the most welcoming group of people I've ever been around. Now, hot rodders are a good group in general, and, and we do like our hot rod friends. But when you go to a trailer meet, the first thing they want you to do is go inside their trailer and take a look at it. Enjoy it for what it is. Enjoy the craftsmanship, the old style, and just the fun of camping. Now, I'm not a camping person. I really never have been. Yes, I've gone camping. I've stayed in a tent. I've stayed in a lean-to. I've been out in the wilds and, and such. But as far as camping in a trailer, well, gosh, I never had the opportunity. But Dale Snook, a friend of ours, came across an old canned ham trailer and asked if we wanted it. And I said, you betcha. And we bought it. And we've been working on it slowly and very slowly and meticulously, well, pretty close to that, to get this trailer back up to uh, the same glory it had when it was brand new. Now, Travel, uh, Travel or Pleasure Craft was a, a very small company, and a lot of their trailers looked just like everybody else's trailers from the early 1950s, but they had some unique things done inside, and that's what differentiated the Pleasure Craft from some of the others that were built in possibly even the same locations. El Monte, California seemed to be a popular place for travel trailers, and the growth of them came about after World War II when people wanted to travel around. Well, now it is so big that there are magazines dedicated to the canned ham trailer. There are websites dedicated to the canned ham trailer. And look at it. You can go to cannedhamtrailers.com, and it's a vintage trailer rescue and restoration site where they show you restored and how to restore. There are videos on how-tos. There are canned ham people helping canned ham people on how to do it. Now, motorhomes are cool. And I, I've driven one. I, ha I rented one for a week. Went up to uh, Hot August Nights with one. Had my street rod behind it. Took the whole family. Gave us a place to stay. Comfortable with friends. And we had a great time. But man, getting that motorhome around, that was a little tough. And especially towing a trailer with the hot rod on the back. That made it even di more difficult, especially pulling through gas stations and trying to find a place to park. I mean, you're going along the way, and where do you park? 
Well, we found some places, like one night we stayed up in Mammoth at a truck stop. It was easy. They're made for long trucks, but getting around is just, that's a little tough. But a nice 14-foot canned ham trailer weighs about 1,200 pounds, towing behind our 56 Chevy. It's just going to be so cool. Now, you're not sure that you want to do this. I understand that completely. Well, there's a place to go. In Ventura, the area where I live, there is a place called Waypoint Ventura. And it is a trailer park area, but you got to have a vintage trailer. Or if you don't have the vintage trailer, guess what? They'll rent one to you. Just like a hotel room, only you've got a nice, clean, refreshed, restored vintage trailer. There's showers. There's all sorts of places. Hi, Carl Abbott, Phil Hoffman. How you doing there, guys? But I had a friend, a gentleman who I used to work with, Bob Peters. He has a vintage Avion trailer. He and his wife have been traveling around now that they're retired and enjoying some great sights from Branson, Missouri, to Ohio, to Indiana, to all over the country. And they're loving it because the people they're meeting are super friendly. And the places they're seeing are just flat amazing. Now, his is a relatively long trailer at about 20 feet. He tows it with a newer Chevy van. But our little canned ham, it's going to be so cool. But let's say you want to see what it's like. You want to feel the enjoyment or the atmosphere of canned ham trailers. Well, Vintage Trailer Hotel by the Beach, Waypoint, might be the place for you to go. They've got a number of different trailers, and it's a great place because it's close to the ocean. As a matter of fact, it's right across the street. You walk across the little footbridge, go over the freeway, you're right there. You're on the beach. And to give you some idea, that Bob Peters, a friend of mine that came up with his wife, Lynn, they left Palm Desert where they live to get out of the 100-plus degree weather. Now, we had some warm days. It, it did get up to 72, 73. Yeah, that was our summer here at the in the Ventura area. We did have a couple of days in the 80s, but with the travel trailer and the locations you can go to, you can beat the heat, get out of the area, and check it out. Enjoy the sights and the sounds of this great country. Travel the USA. See it all. Now, we're going to do it. We're going to travel the USA in our Chevrolet, and we're going to tow our little can tan behind it. Now, I posted pictures of ours needing the paint stripped off it, and then some that are finished so you can see what they can look like. And, man, the interiors are just amazing. Now, if you go to waypointventura.com, you can see all the trailers they've got and how they're outfitted inside. And they have updated and improved the insides. Now, Bob Pratt says he started with a tent trailer, and now they're on their fourth RV, a 30-foot Class C. Wow, that's big. And uh, they're uh, vintage guys, he and his wife, so they travel around. You know, I got about the same gap there, Bob. Uh, so I know exactly what you mean. And my wife is just totally enthralled with this. As a matter of fact, it was her idea to get this little uh, pleasure craft trailer that we're working on. But you can go to waypointventura.com. Check out the trailers. They have got some amazing trailers there. And it's a very clean park. Now, they have uh, trailers with separate areas that you can congregate with your family. They've got a uh, big uh, fire, I guess you call it a fireball or a fire pit that you can congregate around with others if you want. There are tented areas or covered areas that you can go into next to the trailer. Some of the trailers that they have are there, and they have awnings, they have canopies, they've got heaters, they've got restrooms, they've got full hookups if you bring your own as well. Morning, Pete Muriello, Ed Glenn, how are you doing? But this is a way to find out if camping in a small canned ham trailer will do for you. Now, again, I have a 14-footer. But some of theirs are 20 and 30, and they've even got a camp of a trailer park one that's almost 40 feet long. You've got plenty of room in these things, but you can get an idea of what it's like. Now, there's also Canned Ham Hall of Fame, where you can see trailer projects and people that have graduated from these training classes on restoring the road. Good morning, John Mullen. How are you doing today? We are doing great. 
and you can see some of the projects as well as look at some of the videos on how to restore and what you need to do to make your trailer perfect and have fun doing it. And there's no rules. You want to paint yours with a brush? Paint it with a brush. You want to do it with a roller? Paint it with a roller. You want to do a high quality gloss lacquer paint job? Go for it. Your thing, it's yours. There's no rights. There's no wrongs. It's all great. And the communities. We're going up to a trailer show this coming weekend. It's Vintage Trailers in Solvang, California. We're going to go up there, take a look at some, talk to some more people about this great hobby. And yes, it is a hobby. Yeah, Carl, I, I see Bob and I talk to Bob on a regular basis. Carl Abbott's watching us right now. He is a former co-worker at Izuzu with me at the corporate offices. And uh, he's enjoying life in Pennsylvania. So he's having fun. But check it out. Canned Ham Trailers. Plug it into your computer. Canned Ham Trailers. And you will get a variety of websites that show you examples there's even companies making what they call retro canned hams. They look just like they did back in the 50s and the 60s, but they're brand new. So if you're not handy, you want something you can get right into and go, you can get one that looks like it came off the assembly line in 1955, but it's only maybe a few weeks, a few months old. They're out there. They're available. And they're reasonable in price. They're light in weight, so you don't need a big truck to pull these things around. In most cases, they're easy. I move mine around by hand. I got a little dolly I hook up to the tow hitch, and I move it. Well, not the whole tow hitch, but the tongue on the trailer, and I move it around whenever I want to. Take it out of the garage, work on it outside, work on it in the garage. It's just fun to do. And it's another extension, kind of, of hot rotting. And the people, like I said, are great. Canned ham, camping, an option to hotels, and if you go to a car show, let's just say you're you're going to the Street Rod Nationals. You can park your trailer right there with the other hot rods. Be comfortable. Sit back, relax, and have fun. And you'd be surprised how many people will gather around with you and who want to see that trailer you're pulling. Because it is an attraction that a lot of people enjoy. And I'm going to, too. All right, I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas, the morning edition. Travel it around. Hi, Ron Olson. We're doing great. I hope you are, too. And if you're watching this, you're a gasaholic. The great American auto scene. Part of Two Tire Guys Productions, along with Talking About Cars. And check it out. Go to Talking About Cars at Two Tire Guys Productions on YouTube. Because we just released our latest interview with the guys from Ken Diggett Customs. That's right. Kevin and what's his name? You know, the boss guy from Ken Diggett? Oh, Dave, yeah, that's him. But Kev's a trip. He's great. Check it out. The Ken Diggett interview with Dave Kendig and Kev, whatever his last name is, Sheely, <laughs> up at Ken Diggett Customs out of Salt Lake City, Utah, that builds some amazing vehicles. These guys are the real deal. Check it out. Two Tired Guys Productions on YouTube video. Check us out tonight, today, this afternoon. Whenever the full interview is there for you to see. I'm Hot Rod Bob. You've got gas. The morning edition brought to you by Valley Head Service in Northridge, California, and in Simi Valley, Service Tech Equipment, where you get all the equipment you need to really outfit that garage you're working on your car in the right way. All right, folks, you have a great day. I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Again, this is Hot Rod Bob, and you've got gas. The morning edition. Thanks for being a gasaholic.